Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Matoki Maxted, back with a new video. So it's that time of year again. School is approaching fast and before we know it, the summer will be over. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers make back to school videos and I thought, hey, I wanna be trendy and hip, so I'm making one too. Today I'm gonna be hooking you guys up with some back to school life hacks that will make your life easier. Now if you're thinking, ah, Matoki, I don't wanna think about school yet. Well, too bad, it's coming, so get ready, you pussy. Okay, well anyways, let's get started with some school life hacks. We've all had those times where we're running behind for one reason reason or another and end up getting to class late. But don't worry fam, I got you, okay? Here are some excuses that you can use in case that happens. My bad, traffic was terrible this morning. Sorry, I was in the bathroom, I'm not feeling too good. I just got back from a funeral. Oh, I didn't mean to be late, I was making out with Mrs. Wilson. Ugh, I would hate to be marked down as late. If there was only something I could do. Yeah, um, I'm on my period. All right, so maybe not all of those are good ones, but you know, don't be afraid to get creative. If you're like me and hate studying, then you probably don't like tests and quizzes as much as I do. So I suggest you work hard, study, and definitely don't cheat by writing answers on your arm, hiding a cheat sheet under the test, putting answers on a tissue that you suddenly have to use during the test, or recording things that you have to memorize and listening to them with headphones hiding in your sleeve. Uh-huh, yeah, definitely don't do those things. Every year, we get assigned to read some kind of book for a class. But let's be real, it's usually some boring ass book that nobody wants to read. So just do what everyone else does and Google the book summary. It's so much easier. Yeah, sure, I guess you can actually read the book. <laughs> If you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> or another way to do it is actually by eating the book and absorbing the information that way. Yeah, totally works, without a doubt. Sometimes there are people in school who are assholes. Like I'm sure a lot of you, I've been bullied before. I know the struggle. Whether that might be verbal bullying or physical bullying, it can be a real pain in the ass. Sometimes talking to your teachers about it works, but not always. If that happens to you, then you should take things into your own hands and get rid of your bullies by whatever means possible. Just don't forget to clean up the blood, but after that, your problem is solved. Working on research papers or essays is never any fun. Writing papers is hard and always takes forever to do. I recommend starting them early and getting them out of the way. But if you're too lazy and wait till the last minute like me, then just copy and paste one from the internet. Some people might call it cheating, but <laughs> just think about how much time you'll save. Don't you hate it when you're sitting in class, then all of a sudden you get hungry. Ugh, I know, so relatable. It's always smart to pack yourself an emergency snack no matter what. Whether that might be trail mix, a bag of goldfish, or maybe you wanna make some mac and cheese. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now this last life hack is for all of you who hate going to school. If you absolutely hate going to school every day, then I have the perfect advice for you. So listen carefully because you don't wanna miss this. You guys ready? All right. Just drop the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, who cares about getting a good job and having a bright future? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's all the life hacks I have. I hope you guys are excited for the school year. If you're one of those people who isn't, then don't worry, okay? It gets better. I used to be like that before college. Unless you're in college and you also hate that. In which case, uh, fuck, that's your problem. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. But otherwise, I'll see you next with Toki Monday. Toki, you're a great roommate. You're an even better friend. And I love everything about you, man. <laughs>